Hi all, we're going to go ahead and start with the last section on hyperbolas, and that's the graphing section. So we have a lot to do actually on this section. It says identify where the hyperbola is centered, the vertices of each of each um, part of my hyperbola, uh, the A and B, then sketch the graph including the asymptotes and the fundamental rectangle. So I have a lot to do on this section. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So. We have a little bit clearer section. So I want to find my center first. So am I adding anything to my X or Y? No, so they're by themselves. So my center again is at zero, zero, yes? Okay, so then I also want to find A and I want to find B, okay? So let's start with A first. We know that A is always with the X. So A is always here and B is with the Y. So A squared is going to equal 4. That means that A equals 2. And B squared equals 16, or B equals 4. Okay? So you need to make sure you get that part correct. And then I'm going to find the vertices after I graph stuff. So we're going to go ahead and graph a little bit and see what we can find. I'm at least going to put draw my tri uh, right, rectangle, my triangle, my rectangle and my, um, my asymptote. So I'm going to put in my circle, my center, which is zero. And I know that A is side to side. So I know have here and here. And um, B is up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, so my rectangle contains those four points. So um, I'm going to try and draw a draw the triangle, uh, rectangle. I don't know why I keep saying triangle. Um, rectangle here. And there's my um, fundamental rectangle right there. Okay, so um, and then I'm going to draw my um, asymptote. So I'm going to go ahead and um, draw a straight line, well, a dotted line. I'm going to try and draw a straight line. You guys know I can't really draw a straight line very well. So we're going to attempt to draw a straight line. There's one. goes through the center and the vertices of each one. So it would be so much easier if I had a ruler that I could slap on this thing, but I don't. So we're just kind of make and do with my eye here. There we go. So there's my asymptotes. Now I need to ask myself, which way does this hyperbola open? Is it opening left and right or is it opening up and down? And that will tell me where my vertices are. Um, well, since y, how do I know? Well, I'm going to look at here. What number, um, let me erase that. Okay, what, what letter is coming first? Not what number, what letter? Well, Y is first. That means it's opening up and down. If X is first, it's opening side to side. So since it's opening up and down, I know my vertice is going to be these two points. So I can say vertice, verts, what are those? That's a zero, um, four, right? One, two, three, four, zero, four and zero, negative four. And those are my vertices. So this is how that's drawn um, up here and there, and then the same down here. There we go, and there is my hyperbola, that's it. That's all there is, it, it's, it's just a little more involved. I have to pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing, um, but that's all. So we're gonna go on to the next one. I think I have uh, three or four examples to help you guys with this. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna find my center. My center, um, there's nothing with the X or the Y, so my center is at zero, zero. And then I wanna find A and I want to find B, okay? So A is always with my X, so here's A, and B is always with my Y, so there's that. So I know that A squared, oops, A squared equals nine, so A is gonna be three, and I know that B squared equals 25, so B is gonna equal five. So I'm gonna graph that, much, that part as much as I can. So I know I've got zero, zero, and then three to each side. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, and then five up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Okay, so draw the triangle here, rectangle. Ooh. Count how many times I say triangle instead of rectangle. There's my uh, fundamental rectangle. And then I'm going to attempt to draw in this uh, I asymptotes here. That's pretty good. Um, okay. So there's my asymptotes. There's my rectangle. So now I need to know... Um, is it opening horizontally or vertically? Well, I look at here. What's my first variable? Well, it's X. So it's opening um, horizontally. So my vertices, my verts are going to be here and here. So that would be negative 3, 0, and 3, 0. Okay? So then this one's going to be a much fatter um, curve because my asymptotes are wider spread. And there we go. Okay, so done with that one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next one. Do the same thing over again. This time I have a different center but we're still doing exact, basically we're still doing exactly the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna look for my center first. Where's my center? Well, the X term comes first. So I want to find my X term first. So my X term is two. And then my Y term comes second. Here's my Y term. My Y term is here. And so my y term is um, negative 1, I believe. Okay? So then I know that a is, a squared is 4, so a is 2. And b, well, b squared is also 4, so b is 2. So that one was kind of nice. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and graph my fundamental rectangle angle and my asymptotes. So I'm at negative, I'm sorry, at 2, negative 1, and I'm going up 2, down 2, over 2, over 2. Okay. So here's my rectangle. Okay, so here is my asymptotes. Okay, there we go. So, um, which way, the question is, which way is it opening? Well, the Y is first. So that means it's opening vertically. So my asymptote, I'm uh, sorry, my vertices would be here and here. So my vertices are going to be at 2, 1, and 2, uh, negative 3. And those are my vertices. So here we go. Notice I found my vertices after I um, drew in my um, fundamental rectangle and my asymptotes. It makes it much easier instead of trying to find it first. Um, at least I think so. Um, so that's, uh, that's how I do it. So um, if you guys want to do it a different way, that's fine. However you want to do it, just make sure that you're doing it that way. Um, so last problem, here we go, we're doing the same thing, so I need to find my center. My center is going to be at, let's see, so I want my X term first, which is here, and then I need my Y term, which is here, so my X term of my center is going to be 1, 
and my y term is going to be negative 1. And then I need to find a, so a, here it says a squared equals 4, so a is going to be 2. And then I need to find b, and b squared equals 9, so b is 3. Um, so let's go ahead and draw in our triangle, our rectangle. There we go, I said it again. Um, my rectangle and my asymptote. So 1, negative 1. There we go. So A is 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And B, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Alrighty, and then we're going to draw and draw in Oops, it wasn't very dotted right there, sorry. And then... There we go. And then let's see, my vertices, I've got an X first, so I'm going to open horizontally, so that means my vertice is here and here, which is negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So then we draw in my, my hyperbola. And there we go, you guys. Okay, so I've found everything I've done. I've drawn everything they want me to draw in there. Um, and that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please uh, make sure you're asking me. Um, and uh, have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye.